The Sepik River does not have the same species richness that other great rivers have. This basin only became a freshwater system around 6,000 years ago, following the northward movement of the Australian continental shelf, a fall in sea level and a build-up of sediment. There's one catfish here, I notice. Here we go. Uh, um, but the others are your sort of standard issue, scaly, small scaly fish. Actually, that's interesting. That looks like a tilapia. It might even be a tilapia. That is a fish that has been moved around a lot. It's turning up in parts of the world where it never used to exist, but uh, that would be interesting. Hey, big one. Can I hold? The usual catfishy type sort of raspy pads in there, not really teeth as such, but that's for grasping small fish. Looking at this, the, you know, the dentition on, on, on this, although it's going to be quite a frightening sight if you're a small fish, I don't think this is going to harm a person. If it gets hold of a bit of you, it might give you a bit of a, a rasp, but it's not really going to cut you. So it's a decent sized fish, but I think this is not the animal that's responsible for these attacks. Thank you very much. I've not been able to find out exactly where the attacks took place, but I do know that they occurred close to a village. So that is where I begin. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.